you were super smart all along, or how fake teachers sold the world. Real teachers are always amazing. They show you our world and bring light to the universe. Fake teachers, on the other hand, threaten you, be it by holding you back a year or destroying your GPA, which affects the rest of your life, or by yelling at you or making the class laugh at you, or worse yet, tricking you into thinking that you are stupid in front of all the friends that you have ever had. It is a very simple thing that the fakers are after. They don't want you to understand, because understanding requires that they know what they are doing. It requires passion, curiosity, wisdom, and loving the subject they teach. The fake teachers discover very early on that when their curriculum is incomprehensible, you, under the many layers of threats, begin memorizing. That's what they want. They want you to memorize like a little machine. It's like a light bulb going off in their head. Teach crap, and they will just memorize and pass all the tests. They make no effort to integrate what they teach. They instead scatter everything into noise. They betray you and force you into becoming little memorization machines just to sell you out for a paycheck. In the A students, they are just simply memorizing. You are just as smart as they are, but they didn't put up a fight. They never knew real education. Nobody does early on. So they dove right into memorization. After all, that is what the teacher wants. You are up against a massively inconvenienced liar. They pre-lie that they don't want you to memorize. And they lie that it is all hard work. Just look at them working hard in your classroom. Not even a real teacher, but just a decent human being would never, ever threaten you with being held back or having your future smashed or call you names behind your back. Dunce, hormones, loser all the while tricking you into useless memorization so that they can get paid or not be inconvenienced by getting transferred to another school. Real education, real knowledge touches your heart. It connects to the constellation of curiosities within you. Real knowledge flows like the walls of your house Try to close your eyes and begin moving along the wall, starting at the front door. You will recall everything. Outlets, imperfections, all the picture frames and photographs, and every other feature. That is what real knowledge feels like. You can follow the paths in your mind. What the fake teachers are doing is pushing you to remember fragments of other people's walls. They are making you jump. That is just unintegrated knowledge. They know that you can only hope to memorize it and for the duration of a test. This is precisely what they want. Memorize for the final and the GTFO. From their perspective, a perspective that does not care about you learning anything, as far as their paycheck is concerned, memorization is perfect. It is reliable, predictable, 
dependable and the fraud is invisible. Especially when they continue asking you not to just memorize. It is all your fault if you do, foolish child. I told you not to do it, didn't I? How many times did I say it? Sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it, huh? Good news is that your grades are fake too. They just want the collective school GPA to be average as not to stick out. Your grades will be manipulated. In one way or another, they will all add up to one-third A's, one-third B's, and one-third C's. You were never dumb. You were never too dumb to just understand. There was nothing to understand. You were being coerced into memorization under the threat of unethical, mind-shattering punishment. Because the teacher was fake. They didn't care to teach you. They found an easier way to put food on their table. The fake teachers are the man who sold the world. You are as smart as history's smartest beings. You have the same abilities. The difference is they learned for real, on their own, away from stress, and you were pushed into stress, threat, and memorization. I am sorry to say, but those are opposite of each other. You are nowhere near real education. If that sounds hopeless, don't be sad. Newton's greatest discovery was made when he was away from school, hiding away from the plague. You are in the same shoes as he was, and so was everyone else after and before. Everyone simply accepted the responsibility for their own education and found their way towards serenity. Put an A-team together, a narrated book club where you can exchange ideas and titles. Try to hike often to make room for books in your mind and plan to section hike some part of the AT, PCT, and CDT. And please, always as a group, and with extra water filters and satellite communicators to go around. Though, start with baby steps first. Try a little wilderness somewhere. Sometimes that may even be enough. And read your poems, too, proud and loud. Perhaps begin with Whitman's Cosmos or the Hacker's Manifesto. Because there is a simple, universal rule, one that must be followed, and there is no choice in the matter. It especially concerns those who are tricked into fake education. So listen carefully. In the absence of teachers, you must become a teacher. You are now charged with growing all the way up until with the wisdom born of your knowledge, you rise to become a great being and help all the others follow. The conscience of a hacker, also known as the Hacker Manifesto, by the mentor, or Lloyd Blankenship. Written on January 8th, 1986.
Another one got caught today. It's all over the papers. Teenager arrested in computer crime scandal. Hacker arrested after bank tampering. Damn kids, they're all alike. But did you, in your three-piece psychology and 1950s techno brain, ever take a look behind the eyes of a hacker? Did you ever wonder what made him tick? What forces shaped him? What may have molded him? I am a hacker. Enter my world. Mine is a world that begins with school. I am smarter than most of the other kids. This crap they teach us bores me. Damn underachiever, they're all alike. I'm in junior high or high school. I've listened to teachers explain for the 15th time how to reduce a fraction. I understand it. No, Mrs. Smith. I didn't show my work. I did it in my head. Damn kid. Probably copied it. They're all alike. I made a discovery today. I found a computer. Wait a second. This is cool. It does what I want it to. If it makes a mistake, it's because I screwed it up. Not because it doesn't like me, or feels threatened by me, or thinks I'm a smart ass, or doesn't like teaching and shouldn't be here. Damn kid. All he does is play games. They're all alike. And then it happened. A door opened to a world, rushing through the phone line like heroin through an addict's veins. An electronic pulse is sent out. A refuge from the day-to-day -day incompetencies is sought. A board is found. This is it. This is where I belong. I know everyone here, even if I've never met them, never talked to them, may never hear from them again. I know you all. Damn kid. Bang up the phone line again. They're all alike. You bet your ass we're all alike. We've been spoon-fed baby food at school when we hungered for steak. The bits of meat that you did let slip through were pre-chewed and tasteless. We've been dominated by sadists or ignored by the apathetic. The few that had something to teach found us willing pupils. But those few are like drops of water in the desert. This is our world now. The world of the electron and the switch. The beauty of the board. We make use of a service already existing without paying for what could be dirt cheap if it wasn't run by profiteering gluttons. And you call us criminals. We explore. And you call us criminals. We seek after knowledge. And you call us criminals. We exist without skin color, without nationality, without religious bias. And you call us criminals. You build atomic bombs. You wage wars. You murder, cheat, and lie to us. And try to make us believe it's for our own good. Yet we are the criminals. Yes, I am a criminal. My crime is that of curiosity. My crime is that of judging people by what they say and think, and not by what they look like. My crime is that of outsmarting you, something that you will never forgive me for. I am a hacker. And this is my manifesto. You may stop this individual.
but you can't stop us all. After all, we're all alike. Cosmos by Walt Whitman Written in 1891 Who includes diversity and in his nature Who is the amplitude of earth and the coarseness and sexuality of the earth And the great charity of the earth and the equilibrium also who has not looked forth from the windows, the eyes for nothing, or whose brain held audience with messengers for nothing, who contains believers and disbelievers, who is the most majestic lover, who holds duly his or her triune proportion of realism, spiritualism, and of the aesthetic or intellectual, who having considered the body finds all its organs and parts good, who out of the theory of the earth and of his or her body understands by subtle analogies all other theories. The theory of a city, a poem, and of the large politics of these states who believes not only in our globe with its sun and moon, but in the other globes with their suns and moons, who constructing the house of himself or herself, not for a day, but for all time, sees races, eras, dates, generations, the past, the future, dwelling there, like space, inseparable together. <laughs>